Ever wonder if there is a difference between the high-end smart scales and the low-cost smart scales? Me too. I showed you the Renfo smart scale for under $30, but those weren't the first smart scales that I saw. The first smart scales I saw were the Quadro and the Y themes, and these premium end smart scales had a price tag of $150. That's a big difference from $30. So my question is, is there a difference? Well, stick around, you're about to find out. In my original Renfo review, I went over these things. Packaging, setup, connecting to the device, data tracked, connecting to other fitness applications, the layout of the scale application, the accuracy of the scale, the ease of use and the price. So let's use that outline to compare the Quadro Base 2 Smart Scale to the Renfo Smart Scale. Your first product impression is packaging. And packaging does a couple things. It shares with you the value the company places on their product. And second, great packaging solidifies your consumerism by leaving you feeling like you opened a Christmas present. So here's unpacking the Quadro Base 2. And here's unpacking the Renfo. I've got to say, the Quadro Base 2 does have great packaging. And... I like the design of the Quadro Base 2 better than the Renfo. It's a much sleeker design, so it actually looks better in the bathroom. And that gives the Quadro Base 2 an early lead. I looked at the setup. The setup was pretty straightforward, and both smart scales focused on keeping everybody happy. I didn't have a problem with either setup. Connecting to these devices, both of them was super easy. I did not have any errors. And the big difference is the Quadro not only connects to Bluetooth, it connects to Wi-Fi. And you might be wondering what's the benefit of Wi-Fi because I know I was. And the big benefit of Wi-Fi is that you don't have to have your phone and the app open when you step on the scale. You can just step on the scale anytime and it will store your data for you and you can pull it up on your phone later. So I guess there is a benefit to Wi-Fi. Who knew, right? What about the data track? So what do each of these scales measure? Well, here's a comparison of the information provided by each product. I highlighted the data I used in green. Renfo tracks more information and there's a couple of their data points that I like, which Cordio doesn't have and that's gonna be the water, the metabolic age, and the BMR. So water, it's more of a reference point for me, like, ooh, drink your water today. So the average percent body water weight for a woman is between 45 and 60%, and for a man, it's between 50 and 65%. Body fat has less water than muscle mass. Right now, I'm drinking between 64 to 120 ounces of water a day, and my water weight is still below average because of my body fat percentage. So for me, percent water weight is an FYI. I know I'm drinking enough water, but look, my percentage is low, so I have some work to do. It's the same with metabolic age, and I imagine that number could be pretty depressing, because right now it's not my best friend. But how I like to look at it is more of a, hey, wow, so happy you're out here addressing this now when you have a chance to turn it around. And I can tell you when that number turns to more positive, I am gonna be so excited. And I really like the BMR because it gives me a target of calories for the day. I'm gonna be able to eat these things and see how accurate that target is and make adjustments. So I do use more of these data tracking points and it's more of an FYI for me, giving me more input to understand how my body interacts with these things. And here's the thing, I do like data. So 
I can take all this data and feed it into my food tracking app, my activity app, correlate it, pull it apart, micromanage it, and really figure out how my body interacts with all these different variables. Even though I like the additional data from Renfo, I can tell you, when I first started using the two different applications, the cardio did a much better job on usability. Their application's more intuitive, and it seems like they actually did some research on how people interact with the applications. When I took my body weight, the critical variables of weight, body fat, and BMI were the only variables on the Cordio screen. The thing about data, when you want a snapshot, it needs to be summarized and it needs to be brief. It's after getting the snapshot that you would decide if you want to go into the data deeper and most of the time, you don't want to go any deeper. On the Renfo, all the data was on the front page and to find what you needed, you had to scan through everything. Now, the other thing that I like is the Cardio actually pulled the data from Google Fit into their app. For me, the Google Fit app isn't an intuitive or an inviting layout. I don't really like going into Google Fit, but the activity tracker in Cardio is intuitive and easy to use. They snapshot the data and you can decide if you want to go in deeper. So. Cordio connects these key data hub applications, Google Fit, Samsung Health, Apple Health, and MyFitnessPal. Now, Renfo does that and adds in additional applications like Gnome, Fitbit, and Garmin. If I look at these two scales from a big picture perspective, the Cordio is taking a very deliberate, thoughtful approach to what their product is going to be. And they're asking, who am I in this fitness realm and how do I fit in? And in essence, they see themselves as a data delivery unit. They don't think they're a personal data hub. They know they are only delivering a piece of your health and wellness. So from what I see, they're saying, how does Portio get your information to a data hub where their piece of the pie can be stored with information from all your other devices? And you can really see that with how Cordio worked in the UK with the personal health record platform Metalink. Here, Cordio gave you the option to load your data into your health record. On the other hand, Renfo is offering a connect to everything platform, and that is kind of convenient for the end user right now and a little confusing. It was confusing for me as an end user because I couldn't understand the landscape of fitness devices, and I couldn't figure out how all these different applications fit in. I didn't realize there were these health applications that were acting as data hubs for all your health and wellness information from these devices. And these applications made it convenient for any new health gadget to come to market, because all I had to do was be able to connect to the hub and dump all your data. And you'd still get all your data in one place. So then you didn't have to worry about purchasing gadgets that talk to each other. You could purchase the gadget that you thought was best for you. You just had to make sure that it attached to your data hub, whatever your data hub is, whether it's Apple Health, Google Fit, Samsung Health, MyFitnessPal. So this one's a toss up. You know, that connect to everything is convenient right now in the short term because the data hubs, they're not quite mature yet. They've got a ways to go. But when those data hubs mature, you're just going to want to make sure that you like your data hub and then pick the gadgets you like and just make sure that they attach to your data hub. Both of these scales started weighing me exactly the same. And what I noticed is if I had a big change, like over a half pound, the Quartio would record bigger variances. And it was bigger variances both up and down. If I'm looking at ease of use, the Wi-Fi connectivity of the Quartio is a big plus. 
I didn't think it would make a difference needing to have my phone with me and the app open, but some days it does. So the Wi-Fi thing is a big bonus. And the Quartio just has you tapping the scale to switch users and it's going to cycle through the usernames. Renfo, how it switches users it's, is it's going to allow you to connect multiple phones, or at least this is one way it does it. And the other user just has to be logged out of the app to ensure that Renfo documents the information correctly. I think this gives Cordio a slight edge over Renfo here. Again, it's because of that usability, that more intuitive feel of the Cordio app. It just seems like Cordio put in more effort into thinking about how the end users use the application. Well, here's the big difference. The Cordio cost me $149. The Renfo, 28. So if I was making this decision just on price, it would be the Renfo. There's almost a $120 difference between the price of the two scales. You know, here's my thoughts. The Quadro is a nicer looking unit it was programmed with the end user in mind, making it an easier to use scale. And it has this long-term outlook on how their devices can add value to your life. The Renfo offers more data tracking and I do use the additional data. I also didn't notice that the Renfo was prone to the larger swings that I saw on the Quadro whenever I had a significant change in one of my stats. Overall, I agree with the end results with the Quadro showing a lead over the Renfo. But I'm not willing to give up my extra data quite yet. And I don't think I have to because the data hubs are not mature yet. When they are, the Quadro's long-term vision is going to give it a significant lead over the Renfo. And why I say that is because a business only has so many resources to deliver their product. And when you're a value product trying to be everything to everyone at some point in time, you're going to run out of resources. And then your whole product line is going to suffer. So this is a toss up. I do think the Quadro. Oh. Oh, who's that? So this is a toss up. I do think, George, come here, come on. What are you doing, hmm? What are you doing? So this is a toss up. I do think the Quadro is a slightly better unit than the Renfo. They put a lot of effort into their application, making it user friendly and intuitive. And you know, it is a gorgeous design. It looks great in the bathroom. So this is a toss up. I do think the Quadro is a slightly better unit than the Renfo and they put a lot of thought into their application, making it user friendly and intuitive. Their design is gorgeous. It looks great in the bathroom. And it's those type of things that just feed that long term consumer satisfaction gland. But I still want the other data Renfo offers getting an idea of how many calories I can eat a day, what my metabolic age is, what percent body water I have is still important to me. And that price point is pretty unbelievable. So it's really up to you. There you have it. The Renfo versus the Quadro showdown. And until next time, I'll catch you on the other side. <laughs>